There are so many Facebook advertisers making this mistake and it is painful to see. This mistake comes up so many times when I speak to people and I need to address it directly. I'm in Ads Manager and I've created an example campaign and I've navigated to the ad set level because it is a targeting based mistake, probably not in the way that you're thinking. So I'm gonna scroll down to the targeting section and what people will often do is before they start entering in, you know, locations, age, gender, detail targeting, all that sort of stuff, right? What they will do is they will come into this custom audience section, they will click exclude and they will exclude people who are in their customer list. And the idea behind this is they're thinking, I don't want to advertise to people that have bought from me previously. They see that as a waste of money. I think this is a big mistake. I'm going to explain why. Now, people think that there's no point spending money on people that have already bought from them, that that's just a waste. And honestly, that is so arrogant. I mean, you're not wrong, <laughs> but you didn't have to say it. I, mean I know that sounds harsh, but that's the only word I can really use to describe this thought process. The people that have bought from you previously, your existing customers, are not thinking about your business at all. They are going about their daily lives, thinking about all the things that they have to think about, their own work, their personal lives, etc., etc. They're not thinking about your business. They're not thinking about your products and services. And I think that a lot of entrepreneurs, business owners, because we spend all day long thinking about our businesses, how we can improve things, how we can make things better, that we kind of maybe even on a subconscious level, think that other people are doing the same, or if they've bought from us previously, they're thinking about our products, they just aren't, they're thinking about their other stuff. If you want people that have bought from you previously to buy again, you have to remind them. They're not going to just remember all of a sudden without anything stimulating those memories. And here's an easy way to think about it. Have you ever been to a fantastic restaurant and you really enjoyed the food and you thought, I'm definitely gonna go back there, and then you don't, you completely forget about it, sometimes for years, until you drive a different route to how you normally drive and you happen to drive past it again and go, oh, remember that restaurant, it was absolutely fantastic. Or, you know, you're talking to a friend or a family member and they bring it up and you think, yeah, that place is great. Why haven't we been back in so long? I've done that with restaurants, I've done that with holidays I've taken where you really loved the place you've gone but you just completely forgot about it until someone else mentioned it and you think, yeah, that was great. It was the reminder that allowed you to go, yes, I do remember I had a fantastic experience, I do want to purchase again and then take that action. Now, of course, you as an advertiser can't guarantee that someone's going to run into a friend or a family member and be reminded. You can't guarantee that they're gonna drive a different route and drive past your location, even if you have a physical location and that's going to remind them. You need to take control of that process as an advertiser and you do that with ads by not excluding the people that have bought from you previously. In fact, often we will go, the complete opposite route and we will specifically advertise to people that have bought from us previously to try and convince them to purchase again. I really think this is a flawed thinking from a lot of Facebook advertisers that think I'll save money, I don't need to advertise to them, they already know about my stuff, that's a waste. It's just not how people work in reality. Now there's one other really important point I want to cover on this before I do just want to quickly mention our done for you Facebook and Instagram advertising services. If you want us to create, manage, optimize your campaigns, link is in the video description, click on that, book a call with one of my guys, find out more, hopefully we get a chance to work together. Now when I've raised this issue with people before, as I say, this is something that comes up all the time. If I'm on consulting sessions or you know speaking to clients, this, this logic seems to be everywhere throughout the, the Facebook and Instagram advertising world. One of the things that I often hear from people who sort of have issues with not excluding their previous customers, they really want to exclude their previous customers, and I'm saying don't do it, is they say, well, what if I only have one thing that people can purchase? I only have the one product, I only have the one service. Firstly, I would say that that's probably something you should look to address. I would recommend that you do have something that can operate as an upsell. Even if it's just the one product or service, perhaps you could uh, sell them on a higher level of of service, sell them on quicker access to the product, sell them on a, a care package, a warranty program. There's loads of different options for cross-sales, upsells to offer something else. If you take a look at my business, for example, we offer Facebook and Instagram advertising services, but if a client wants more services, we can also run ad campaigns for them on Google and YouTube and there's other platforms. So there are things that you probably should also be able to sell to your existing customers. It's often one of the easiest ways to grow your revenue is to take existing customers and sell them um, something additional. But let's say you don't have that. You really do just have the one product or service, no higher level of access or service or anything like that. It's just the one thing. I'd still recommend that you don't exclude previous customers because similar to what we discussed previously, if you put ads in front of someone that has bought from you previously 
and hopefully they had a great experience with whatever they bought from you. It reminds them that they bought it and that they had a great experience with it and it makes much more likely that those previous customers are going to refer. So going back to the restaurant analogy, let's say someone has been into your restaurant but they've, I don't know, moved to a different location and they won't be coming back in because it's just not easy for them to do so anymore. But even in that scenario, they see an ad pop up um, for your business. They remember that they had a fantastic experience. As I said, hopefully they did have a fantastic experience. And then they go, oh, I know my sister lives just down the road. I should mention this to her next time I see it because she'd love the food at this place or my friend so-and-so could go in. And is astronaut ice cream a real thing? So it makes it much more likely whatever it is that you sell, you know, I'm just using restaurant as an example, whatever it is you sell, that if you put your ads in front of your previous customers, they're going to be reminded of a great experience. And even if they aren't in a position to buy again, they are more likely to recommend it to other people. And I think that effect, whilst it might sound a little bit edge case, and that's not really make a difference, for certain businesses, that can make a really big difference. Being able to leverage your existing customers for referrals, recommendations, can be absolutely huge. There are multi, multi-billion dollar companies that are built with no marketing, just purely on people recommending the product or service, having had those people buy it initially, and then it just spreads. So don't underestimate that. And even if you're in a scenario where you only sell one product or service, I still would not exclude previous customers. Also, you have to think what percentage of your target audience within your Facebook and Instagram ad campaign is actually made up of previous customers. So you're excluding them because you don't want to spend money on those people and you want to save a bit of money, right? But let's say you're advertising to a 10 million person audience. It's not um, out of the realms of possibility by any means. Could be smaller, of course, but just you know, go with me on this. And let's say you've got a thousand people in your customer list who have already bought from you previously. If you're going to exclude a thousand people from a 10 million person audience, it's like 0.1%. Only a tiny proportion of your budget is going to be spent on those people. Now, you may say I have a smaller target audience. Okay, run the same numbers with a million people, whatever. It's still going to be a very, very low percentage of your existing customers within your overall target audience. If you've got, for example, a Facebook ad budget of $100 a day, because the percentage of your audience that's made up from your existing customers is so small, you're only going to be spending a tiny proportion of that budget on those people, at most probably a few dollars a day. It's not enough to think, I really need to exclude this to save money. So I feel like the downsides of leaving your customers in your targeting, not specifically excluding them, are tiny, they're basically non-existent. And the potential upsides of leaving them in there are significant, particularly if you have a really good product or service and reminding people is likely to trigger referrals, recommendations, and things like that. So I would not exclude customers from your targeting options. I would leave them in there. I would even specifically include them in your retargeting campaigns, your retargeting ad sets because of all the reasons that I've mentioned in this video. I think it's worth doing and it's not going to cost you a lot of money to do that. Have you heard of the massive changes happening to Facebook ads tracking right now? I cover it all in this video here. This is the biggest change to Facebook ads tracking that we've seen since iOS 14. It's great news for us advertisers and you need to know about it.